You know that experience when you've been on it all night and it's three, four, five o'clock in the morning, and you're full of regret and remorse. And it's like, that's it, I'm done. I'm never sniffing again. And you truly believe it. Only to find yourself back at it again a few days later or the following weekend. Let me explain why. Your hippocampus, your memory, and your amygdala, part of your brain that attaches emotions to your memories, encodes according to your state dependency, your emotional state. So states are if you're upset, that's a state. If you're angry, that's a state. If you're high, that's a state. If you're sober, that's a state. A state of awareness, a psychological state. And your hippocampus stores, encodes memories according to the state you're in. So at three, four, five o'clock in the morning when you've been on it all night, all day perhaps, and you're completely off of your tree, it's going to store at that level. And the only way to access the full emotions attached to it, the gravity associated with using, is being back in that high state. And that's why People find themselves back high again going, oh no, I've done it all over again. I wish I hadn't have done that. And yet two or three days later, you don't even think about it at all. Not only that, but when you're sleeping, the coding while you're sleeping completes the memory in its banks. And because your sleep architecture is damaged through nasal ingestion of you know what, and you're not sleeping properly, that's another reason why the memory is encoded incorrectly. It's like invisible ink on a piece of paper. You kind of know it's there, but you just can't see it. What's that about?